Hi and welcome to FTV, I'm Jenny Silver. Here's a roundup of the news from the forest this week. Talk of Tesco coming to Cinderford has been going on for several years. This week we went out onto the streets to ask what you think about the plans ahead of a public consultation planned for next month. I think it'd be really good, really good. I personally think it's a good idea. That's my, I'll probably put a few noses out of joint saying that, but it possibly, it'll probably put co-op out of out of a few points, but uh, I'm really not that bothered about that. The small, the small businessmen in the street, I, I sympathise with, obviously, but I really don't think it'll affect them too badly. I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think it's good for the children's clothing, value for money, just everything, really. What do you think, though? I mean, do you think it might affect other people in the town? No, I don't think so. I mean, you've got the co-op and it doesn't seem to affect small businesses. I still shop at the small businesses, you know, and yeah, all the time. And, you know, my family from Cheltenham and I go to Cheltenham all the time, but I still use the local shops. I think it would be a really good idea. And do you think it might affect, um, you know, other businesses in the town? I, th I think it might affect some businesses, but then again, I think it will bring people into the town. I think people will travel here to actually come to Tesco's. The father of murdered student Joanna Parrish has welcomed a move which could see serial killer Michelle Fourneray face trial for her murder. Roger Parrish said he hoped this latest breakthrough by the French authorities could finally bring justice for his daughter, whose naked body was found in a French river in 1990. We have to acknowledge that to the present stage, there's a lot of circumstantial evidence against Michel Fourneray and Monique Olivier, but we do acknowledge that there isn't sufficient for them to be charged with Joanna's murder at the moment. And what we're hoping for is that during the course of this questioning, something else will become apparent. Um, perhaps the, uh, the partner of Michel Fourneray, Monique Olivier, who has already um, given the police details of a number of cases, perhaps she is the one who we hope might reveal truth. Back in the forest, the debate is still raging over what to do with the escalating wild boar population. FTV viewer Paul Marshall sent us this footage of a wild boar and her piglets, shot last week at New Fancy View. For an in-depth look at the whole boar debate, check out our special feature in this week's paper. In other news, police from across the county took part in a major operation to try and crack down on rogue traders. More than 30 officers took part in roadside checks on the A40 as part of Operation Montana. Army cadets in the forest have been saluting a 1.8 million revamp of their training centre. Lieutenant General Nick Parker, the senior officer responsible for cadets and reserve forces, officially opened the centre in Cinderford at a ceremony on Friday. And finally, students at Lakers School have been falling head over heels for a special PE teacher. Olympic gymnastics contender Christian Thomas popped into the school last week and we went along to join in the high-flying visit. Sort of trying to get gymnastics um, sort of a bit more well-known and getting gymnastics a bit more recognised within the schools and things like that. That's all for FTV for this week. For a full roundup of all your local news and sport, grab a copy of this week's paper and don't forget for breaking news, look at our website at www.thisisgloucestershire.co.uk. There'll be more from us next week. Thanks for watching.